Welcome back guys to a new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode I'll show you how you can create something like this where the user can share their location and it automatically detects and calculates your location, your GPS location and displays it on a Wix or a Google Maps map inside of Wix. It will be a very easy tutorial but very useful as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we're going to be doing is obviously check that we are in dev mode. So if you don't know how to go there, you're simply going to hover over dev mode and turn it on. Mine is already turned on, so I'm not going to click on it. But basically this will say turn on dev mode. After that, over here you have access to some code and you're able to enter your own stuff. But before we start writing any code or anything like that, let's first just add a map. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the plus button or the add button. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to simply search up Google map by typing in Google and then maps. I'll find it over here. Uh, you can select anyone you want. It's irrelevant for this tutorial. So I'm simply just going to drag the first one and drop it in. Let's just make sure it is a little bit bigger to fit the screen just like this. Same thing over here. You can probably add it to the top of the page. And what we're going to do is we're going to also be adding a button. So we can go ahead and go into add, uh, go to button, and okay button and let's just add any of them uh, maybe over here and i'll show you why and basically what we'll do is whenever someone clicks on this button we're going to load the the location and we're going to display it on the map i'll also show you how we can make it appear automatic but for now let's just go ahead with the button so i'm going to change the text to share location just like this Okay, so now that we have all our UI elements, the map and the button, what we want to do is that we want to create a function and I'm going to go over here. So I'm not going to be doing it inside of our on ready. I'm going to be doing it in another function and we're going to be calling it a sync function get users location. And we're also going, in order to use this, we're actually going to have to import some components from Wix, which are import, and we're going to be using the Wix window. So Wix window from Wix window. We're also going to be importing uh, import Wix location from Wix location. That's actually all we need at the moment. So let's go ahead and continue writing our function. So I'm writing over here and maybe I can probably zoom in a little bit. There we go. Over here, just to focus on the function. And all I'm going to be writing here is the following. So we're going to type in await. And then we're going to say Wix window dot get current geolocation. And it auto completes it for you. It's pretty simple. And after that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the then method. So we're going to be saying dot then. And inside of here, we're going to open another bracket and type in obj. You can call it anything, but I'm just going to call it obj for short for object equal to an, an arrow. And then we're going to be opening a zigzaggy bracket. And inside of here, we're going to be requesting everything we want to get. So at the moment, we just want the latitude and the longitude. So I'm going to say let latitude is equal to obj, the object that we identified at the top, to be chords, short for coordinates, I'm assuming, dot latitude. And we're going to do the same thing. Longitude is equal to, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this just to make things quicker. And I'll save over here. Obviously, instead of latitude, we're going to change it to long longitude. Hopefully, I am not spelling anything wrong. So after that, this will basically request the latitude and the longitude only if the user accepts to share their location. So in that case, we will get it. But otherwise, we want to create another method to what will happen if the user rejects um, approving the location. So to do that, we're going to go over here. And we're going to go one line underneath and I'm going to say dot catch. Inside of here, I'm going to open another bracket, type in error, come over here and open and close the bracket and open another zigzaggy bracket. And inside of here, I'm going to say 
let error message equal to the error. And then it's usually a good idea to just print it just so that you have an idea of what it is. So I'm going to say console.log and then inside of here I'm going to be passing the error message. There we go. So now we can actually, oops, we can zoom in a little bit, oh sorry, zoom out a little bit. And now we have this. Basically this function will be enough to get the latitude and longitude. So let's just format it just so that it looks better. And just for now, I want to show you that we can actually call this automatically when this page loads by simply calling this function. So I'm going to say get users location, which is this function. Let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks like. So I'm going to preview. And what should happen is that we should, and as you can see, it is right now tracking our location. So that's because I actually approved for this website to track my location for a while. So it won't necessarily actually stop. Um, if I click the setting and then refresh this, it will pop up a box and it will ask me if I want to allow it. But basically, if you did this on your computer right now, this pop-up message should have appeared and it would have asked you if you want to share or allow to track your location. So although we tracked it, it's not actually doing anything. So let's go ahead and click on back to editor. Okay, um, so we're back to the editor and what we want to do now is first of all, let's change this idea of it being automatically being called. I don't want it to automatically being called, I want it to be called or I want our location to be shared only when I click on share location. So I'm going to go ahead and remove calling the function from uh, the page when it loads. Instead, I'm going to have it over the button. I'm going to go on click and yeah, let's just call it whatever, which creates this function for us. And basically this function will be called whenever someone presses on this button. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply call our lovely function at the top, which I don't know what happened, which will um, call the user get location. Just want to make sure this is the correct one because I don't know what just happened. There we go. Now what we want to do also is we want to actually display the information on the map. So let's go ahead and do the result because that's also very important. So to do that what we want to do obviously we want to do it in the then because we want to make sure that we have a latitude and the longitude. So I'm going to go over here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in dollar sign w and then a hashtag and over here, inside of here I'm going to say Google Maps 1 and then I'm going to say dot and I'm going to type in location equal sign open and close as zigzaggy bracket and inside of here I'm going to put latitude latitude and two dots and then I'm going to pass the latitude that I created at the top just over here and we're going to be putting a comma after that, I'm going to be putting another one, which is for longitude, as you might have guessed. Longitude, another comma, and inside of here, I'm now going to be putting the description. So description, and inside of here, you can basically put anything, like it's basically that title that appears, Vix Office, for example. Over here, I'm just going to say my location. There we go. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and see if this works exactly as expected. I'm going to click on preview and as you can see because we stopped it from automatically uh, starting the location it's not showing but if I click on share location and it does track it correctly what should happen is that it should update this to the correct location right here and as you can see it is working um, this basically wor will work uh, wherever you are and if you click on directions it will take you to your direction. So if I click on directions right here, it should open Google Maps and it will start taking me to that place. There we go. So let's go back and as you can see, it's over here. You can fully zoom out, zoom in, you can place the guy. Regardless, it actually checks where your location is and updates the map accordingly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Please leave any of your questions below down in the comments. Have a good day.